see where the squirrels have been eating our pumpkin. That's awesome. That is so awesome. I actually don't mind if they're eating it. You can smell it too, because they've just recently, I'm pretty sure a lot of these bites over here are like brand new. Yeah, this you can even still see like the pumpkin juice coming out, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> Chips and I have actually been joking that we want to leave our pumpkins out so that the squirrels will like make jack-o'-lanterns for us. So we'll just like leave it until they manage to hit the inside and that can become the jack-o'-lantern. And it seems like what they're doing with most of the pumpkins in other people's yards is they'll chew through a little hole and then they'll eat all of the seeds. They'll climb in or they'll just reach in and pull out all the seeds. So this guy has taken the most hits. But this guy over here, I really like him because you can actually see like the little bite and claw marks from where the squirrels are working on eating our pumpkins, which is really cool if I wasn't growing these in the yard. <laughs> if I was, I would be so frustrated. But thankfully I'm not, so eat away little squirrels. Enjoy your vegetables. Also eating vegetables for dinner and I'm so excited. This is the beginning of a bootable, you guys. This is my favorite meal to eat right now. I actually prefer to eat like bootables for dinner almost every day. And I made a bit extra, two onions, asparagus, a green pepper because it was $2 cheaper than red and yellow and, and all those other orange peppers at the grocery store right now. And a sweet potato. So that's all gonna come together with some black beans and some delicious basmati rice and some hummus and it's gonna taste amazing and it's a bootable so you guys should definitely look up I think it's the Oshi Glows recipe and then we've modified it a little bit and it's delicious look how pretty that is it's like the little blight spot just showed up right in the very center of this leaf that's so lovely and then today I also got this in the mail it is a little ear warmer that I got from Etsy it even has a cute little sign on it where she crocheted it and she put the sign her little her little store shop sign right there I'll have to see if I can find the little card she sent with her business card in the package but I got this because I was going on my evening walks and my ears were so cold and I have a really funky shaped head so I didn't want to wear earmuffs because they've always just fallen right off no matter what I do and so I got this like round around the head wrap thing. I don't even know what you would call it, like a wrap. And it's just so cute. It's in the fig color. And I am so in love with it. I am really feeling fall has come to life now that I have an adorable little fall thing. I want to like go dig through my wardrobe and find something to match it. And I've never really felt that way about an accessory before. So it's kind of silly. <laughs> Here it is. This is her little card that she sent in and as you can see it is actually <laughs> in uh, French because this is from can uh, Canada. I almost said Canada. Oh my goodness. This is from Canada and she's really really nice. So you can check out like all of her Instagram stuff. You can go and look at her Etsy store. I bought it from there. Just I looked up like earmuffs on Etsy and I saw this in like such pretty colors and I had to have it. So I got that and ironically another Etsy Thing from Canada arrived today and there's special cards I got so this is actually a card you guys get to see because I know Chips doesn't watch the vlogs this is a card I'm going to be saving for him for Valentine's Day I saw it and he loves kitties and so I thought it was really perfect so I'm gonna save it until Valentine's Day and then give it to him then but I had to have it it is from Michelle Scribbles illustration and I actually saw her stuff all over tumblr for a long time Ah, oh, focus focus for crying out loud there we go but I saw her stuff all over Tumblr for a very, very long time. And so I wanted to like support support the artists that you really enjoy. And I loved all of her art because it was so cute. And so that's why I went and I snagged. Oh my gosh, it won't focus. There we go, there we go. So yeah, I got this one. She's got lots of other really cool art if you want to check it out. There were so many cards to pick from. I had to find one because puns and cats, that's totally something Chips and I can share. And then I got these for my sister. So my sister's name is, uh, begins with a B. I don't know if she, she probably doesn't care if I say her name, but I'll have to ask her first. So, but we call her Bebop. Like that's her nickname is B or Bebop. And so we call her that all the time. And so her birthday was October 10th. And so I've been waiting for this to come so I can send her her gift, which I actually just put right down here and this card. So for V, I got happy B day to be like a triple pun. Look at that. It's B's B B day. You see? Oh wait, that's the wrong kind of B. Well, at least he's wearing a party hat so that's really cute it's another thing from Michelle and from her Etsy shop that I ordered so I'm gonna send this to my sister and I also couldn't resist getting this for my sister for her birthday it's a little vinyl owl 
and I thought it looked really, really cute. And I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging. Uh, you can actually see it, like she sells these regularly on her shop. So you can see it on her Etsy. I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging though because I wanna ship it to my sister, like so neatly, safely tucked up in this. And I have to say the packaging was like A triple plus on everything that she sent in. And so yay, that's what I got today. Oh, and I got these from Amazon, a whole bunch of journals. And I'm going to use them for planning various series in the channel. I'm gonna use them for planning various like vlog adventures. Hopefully I'll be able to save up and get a vlog camera for Christmas. Um, that's my goal for a Christmas present to myself so I can make better vlogs for you guys. And that is also for meditating and thinking about things. I'm actually listening while I am making dinner. I am listening to the Good Life Project podcast, which is A plus amazing. I highly recommend it. I'm totally in love with it. And today, just a little bit ago, they were actually talking about something I thought was pretty cool, where the, this guy was saying that your imperfections and the things that make you um, like feel insecure, the things that make you feel like you need to do work, that's the, the places through which the light of whatever you want to call deeper change, like the thing to spur you to deeper change comes from. Anyway, I shouldn't, I shouldn't ramble about those things, but I really liked it. And it's not meant to sound like super over the top, what I just said. I just thought it was really cool because it's so nice to have somebody go, hey, you know, like the things that are your flaws and imperfections are actually the things that can help provide the opening for you to learn some deeper lessons and how to be a good person and how to help other people and how to share your special uniqueness with other people. And that's kind of exactly what's happened with me being so shy and insecure, but really creative and trying to find a way to kind of combine all those things. That's what happened with me for being able to make my channel. And that's what's happening with me trying to find the deeper core of life and sharing it on the vlog channel right next to really cute hats and really cute cards and really delicious vegetables that I'm keeping an eye on in the oven. So yeah, that's what's going on. And then while I am kind of chilling over here, I am also going to be working doo -doo -doo, on my Animal Crossing Village, collecting more candy for Jack. So I'm going to be working on that too. Oh my goodness, so much going on today. Oh, oh, and you guys, this out. So Chips brought me home a slice of Halloween fun birthday cake, vanilla, one of my favorite flavors, so that I can celebrate my mom's birthday today. And I thought that was just the sweetest thing ever. Isn't that so sweet? He walked like an extra 20 minutes home to go to the vegan bakery and pick that up so that I could have some dessert, some cake to celebrate my mom's birthday on Halloween. He is just the best. I, I love him so much. Are you back to eat my pumpkin? Are you going to come in and eat more of my pumpkins? You are such a fat squirrel. I swear you guys have like grown three or four times in size just since the month has come along. That's okay. You can eat the pumpkin. I even have some seed out. Even have some seed right here. Just waiting. Just waiting for the big fat fluffy squirrel to get close enough. Oh, look at him sass me. Silly squirrel. <laughs> are you enjoying dinner? Are you enjoying it? You've got vegetable. You've got vegetables and you've got all those seeds. Are you gonna eat it faster? Don't worry. You can help yourself. Try to leave some for the chipmunks though. Gosh, you're so big. Dinner is done and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Roasted vegetables, delicious roasted vegetables, and then some cumin and some garlic inside of some black beans. And now I'm gonna put it all on a bed of rice with some hummus, and it is the most delicious thing ever. And this is what it looks like all put together. Doesn't look like much, but I promise you, it's absolutely amazing and delicious. So the squirrel and I are gonna listen to some chill stuff, and we're gonna eat dinner, and I'm gonna read my book. And then I will see you guys in a little bit when I get to eat that birthday cake, yes. Okay, now it's time to enjoy this delicious birthday cake. So happy birthday, mom! And happy Halloween, everybody!